Uh, hi everybody uh, today i'm gonna show you about pawn blueprint in unreal engine what is pawn and how we can use it in our unreal engine 5 so if we press right button and go to the blueprint class we will see many blueprint class and one of them is pawn so here it's uh, written a pawn is an actor that can be uh, processed and receive input from a controller so basically pawn is uh, like uh, a like this uh, we can control it through our hand or through a controller like this i hope you understand what is pawn but uh, if anybody didn't understand uh, they can uh, go to the dot and here it's saying that uh, it's it's actor controlled by player or ai and there they explain briefly please uh, go to the page and check by yourself so back to our project and right button and create a pawn i name it uh, pawn pawn right save all so there is a, a difference between a pawn and a character you can see it have uh, both viewport uh, construction script and event draft but it lets uh, also let something if we open our font character uh, this is the font character and if you go to the viewport you can see our font character defaultly have capsule component and a character movement uh, but our pawn does not have that you can see there is a capsule component and uh, character movement and there is also the function but on our pawn there is nothing nothing is capsule, capsule component and movement so if we press right button and create a character a raw character nothing in there but it is still have uh, the uh, capsule component but uh, our pawn right have uh, uh, don't have any capsule component and uh, movement so we need to add it from scratch if we want to add uh, make a, a pawn so i just add a skeletal mesh and also a capsule and our capsule have a default value but we can give the character value like this so give the capsule height and capsule radius value so this is look like a character uh, a character uh, character capsule so i add a skeletal mesh and i add a just a random uh, character and i give the value like on the z axis minus 90 minus 90 like a character and i am also adding the spring arm and a camera and i just up the spring arm a little bit compile and save so we have camera character movement in here but we don't have anything called character movement in pawn right So drag and drop the pawn which we created pawn right and place him in here and if we go to the third person map blueprint our level blueprint we just added two button uh, i just search from p but i will add z and h that's the z and that's the h and get all actor of class and add uh, pawn right and from here get and get player controller and possess add the pawn to the get reference now copy it control c and control v and add with h and i just change the actor class we use bp third person character so bp third person 
character and I just delete the grid because it's a reference so we need to add grid uh, once more now it grid reference from third person character and compile and save so if we play our third person character we can watch but if you press G we'll go to the pawn but we cannot move because we give, uh, didn't give any input and if we press H we'll come back to our third person character and it's can go so on we can work with our third person character and Z bam we are in pawn we cannot move in the pawn press G we are in the third person character so this is our pawn this is how we can use pawn there is a more of it but I don't have time to explain it all so that is for today's tutorial. Bye bye everybody.